Welcome to the sheltered land, the home of the dwarves. Based on the best-selling novels by Marcus Heitz, The Dwarves Big Box invites you to venture into an epic fantasy realm. This new edition of The Dwarves board game allows you to play through the stories of all five novels, combining the original adventures from the base game with all published expansions. Following the plot of the novels, you must defend the sheltered land against invading armies of orcs, trolls and alpha. Play together against the board as one of 12 iconic heroes, each with their own special skills. If one of your heroes should die, or if you fail to finish all your quests in time, the sheltered land will be lost. The unique powers of every hero are shown on their card. Bavragor, for instance, has the ability to move unhindered across the ravaged dead land. The card also shows the hero's health and three stats for fight, crafting and movement. These are the stats you will roll on during the game. If you enter a fight, for example, Tungdil Goldhand can roll three dice. On your quests, you will also find new equipment increasing your stats and offering other advantages. All of your adventuring takes place on this map. The game board shows the sheltered land and its seven kingdoms, as well as the enemy armies amassing and raiding throughout the realm. The core mechanic of the game revolves around the Doom Track at the top of the board. At the start of each game, one marker for the heroes is placed on the far left and a Doom marker on the right. Every round, the hero's token progresses to the right, and if things go wrong, the Doom marker moves to the left. If both markers meet, you lose the game. The hero's token will pass several symbols as it moves along the Doom track, indicating what will happen in the game world. This symbol, for instance, shows that new enemy armies will appear on panel 5. Three dice will decide which armies these are. If five armies are gathered in a single zone, the region will turn into dead land and the armies move on according to the instructions on the dead land tokens to ravage adjacent territory. They will inevitably gather at Black Saddle and the Doom Marker will move to the left. Your time is running out. To stave off defeat, you must stand against the invading armies. Every round you will not only move the hero's token, but you will also decide what your hero does in the sheltered land. In many turns, new cards will also be revealed. Each hero takes two actions each round, which could be used to charge the enemy and give the orcs, trolls and alpha a taste of your axe. But brute force will only slow down the enemy armies for a time. To successfully eliminate the encroaching evil, a deeper strategy is needed. A series of card stacks take you through the quests required to save your homeland. The scenario cards, increasing in difficulty from rank A to rank C, will give you tasks to fulfill. If you succeed at these given tasks, you'll be rewarded with new equipment, increased health or other special items to aid in your fight against the armies of evil. As soon as you have successfully resolved a scenario card of rank C, the heroes have won. There are several available actions that heroes may choose to take each turn, which allow you to move, fight, fulfill the tasks or send messages to the Dwarven Council. If the action calls for dice, you always use as many as your significant stat shows. For movement, you roll as many dice as the number of your movement stat, and the highest roll among the dice counts. So Tungdil would roll three dice and can move five zones, since five was his highest roll. He can use tunnels as shortcuts. If he moves through dead land, he will take damage. In a fight, Tungdil, who is a very evenly balanced character, will also roll three dice. For every four, five or six, he can destroy one army of a certain kind. A four or higher will beat an orc army, a five or higher a troll army, a six will even wipe out an army of Alpha. If Tungdil ends his turn in a zone with enemies and was unable to defeat a single army, he will take damage. The skill tests needed to solve scenario card quests also count as a hero action. These differ from task to task and some require more than one dice roll to complete. A hero can also choose to use one of their two actions to send a message to the Dwarven Council. The Council is represented by another track at the bottom of the board. If the heroes are held in high regard, they may receive special benefits. 
If the council is less enamored with your party, you might find yourself in trouble. The marker will move according to several different factors, but if you send a message to the council, you can try and sway their opinion with the crafting room. These are the basic rules for the dwarf's big box. You are now ready to start out on your first adventures in the sheltered land. The expansions included in the Dwarf's Big Box will introduce new rules and stories belonging to novels 2 through 5. So go, grab your axe and your gear and show the Alpha what a true Dwarf is made of. The Dwarf's Big Box is a strategic cooperative fantasy board game adventure for 2 to 5 players, with each quest lasting around 60 to 90 minutes.